Hello everybody, welcome to my RC Plane channel. I'm James and in this video, this is the second in a series that I'm doing in which I learn how to run gas-powered RC Plane engines. Now I know gas-powered RC Plane engines have been around for a very long time and they're not new to a lot of people. A lot of people have plenty of experience with them, but they're new to me because I've always used or run these glow-powered engines like this OS60FP. Okay, so my last video on this, I kind of opened the box and I showed you what I what I what it came with. And what I need to do is I need to get this to the point where I can go ahead and put it on a test stand and get it running. And then eventually, of course, I want to mount it on a on a plane. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be making a fuel system or a fueling system so that I can fill up the, the tank. And what I need to do is basically build a whole brand new one because I've been using, like I said, glow fuel. And let me grab my kit down here or my field box that I have. And so this is my glow fuel setup. And I'm going to have to just go ahead and build a whole new setup for gas because the two are not compatible. So the silicone tubing like this is not going to work. I have this pump. I'm not going to be running gas through that. And of course, this is glow fuel over here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and I'm going to build a, nut, a different system just for gas. So to start with, I purchased a gas tank. This is just a plastic gas tank and this is by Midwest Cans. I think this company has been around for quite some time. And I, I spent some time trying to look for like the one that I thought would work the best and I decided on getting this one. And I'll show you and I'll tell you why I got this one and how I'm going to modify it. But I needed to get a couple other things also. Okay, so I have my can for the fuel. Now I need a method to transfer the fuel from the can to the airplane. So I'm going to keep it simple. And I purchased this Hangar 9 Ultra Fuel Pump. This is just a manual crank fuel pump. And this one is for gas and glow. It's gas and glow compatible. And you need to be careful because I made a mistake. I actually purchased this one first by accident. I was searching around for a pump and obviously these look, they look pretty close. They look almost identical um, in the pictures. And I was trying to find the best price and I accidentally pushed the purchase button for this one. And I ended up having an extra now. So just gotta be careful when you're checking these out. Again, gas and glow are not compatible and the equipment's not compatible. So you have to have a separate setup for both. So taking a look inside the box here. This is again, it's a simple, pretty simple pump. I may go with an electric pump someday, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and use this. So they give you a little package of uh, hardware, a little some tubing, and a little couple, few little fittings right there. And then of course here's the pump itself. The pump is just a simple hand crank. And there's no direction. It works in both, both ways. Basically if you turn it this way, it's going to be flowing out. Um, and then you turn it this way, it sucks it back in. I'm not sure which one is which in terms of the direction. They don't, they don't have it marked, but it doesn't really matter. No matter how you set it up, you just have to figure out which way is flowing in and which way is flowing out. No big deal. And so let's take a look and see what's inside here. A package of small stuff. All right, so this is what they give you in that little bag. There's a couple little fittings here some screws, and then of course some fuel line right here to, to use. So these two little screws are for if you want to mount this, you can actually just mount it straight to something like your like your field box or whatever. And then they give you a little filter that goes on the end. This would be inside of the your fuel can. And then they give you this little fitting here, which would be, whoops, which would one end would connect to the hose or to, to the line. And then it's got this little kind of nipple on here that would then plug into your, however you're fueling up your, your tank. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and then we'll um, look at a few other things that I had to get. And then I got some Tigon tubing, which I have to use. Again, I cannot use, can't use the silicone um, tubing that's for glow engines for gas. So I'll be using this stuff. I think this is kind of thick. I'm not sure this is eighth inch ID. I may have gotten kind of a thick one there. All right, and I also purchased this Easy Fill fuel cap fitting from Debro, and I'll take this apart and we'll get that connected. And then what else? 
All right, last thing is I got these, I got these caps. So these are solid caps and I'm gonna tell you why I purchased this in just a second. So these are solid caps that will fit. Um, these are sort of universal. Unfortunately, there was four in a package. I don't need four, but I had to buy them like this. And these are by CM Concepts. But in any case, these will fit this particular gas can. Let me pull this guy apart. And I just went with a gallon size can. I, and this may be a little bit small, but I think this is good for now. So let me pull this apart. So here's the, oops, here's the different fittings. And I couldn't just find like a regular gas can. Now, I think they all now come with sort of like these safety features so that you can't spill the gas or do, you know, I forget what these are for, but. So you'll notice that, oops, obviously if you're gonna be using this gas can the way it's made, you would put this on like that and you do attach it. And then it's got this little seal on here. And of course this is open. So this is designed to drill into the, the cap. In fact, let me grab a one of these guys. So this is just this is just the cap from a glow fuel um, jug. And you can kind of see I've used this one in the past. So these are designed just to, you know, you drill a half inch hole in here and you plug it in and then you use the, there's a little O-ring and this, this kind of nylon nut in here and you attach it. And this little fitting then, you know, hooks onto the cap and that's how you access the fuel. And so if you look at this guy, of course it doesn't have a flat surface. It's got this little plug that goes in here. Put back in here real quick. This goes on top of here like that. And of course this goes on top of that to kind of seal it. So let me pull this out of here since we're talking about it. So here's the little Debro package of stuff. So let's see here. This is the um, this is like this little. It's not really a valve. It's just this little fitting. This this goes on on the end of the on the end of the hosing or the tubing, which is in the bottom of the tank. And it's got a little filter on it to help prevent stuff from getting you know junk getting into the fuel. Here's the little O-ring, and here's this little um, fitting that goes on. This will go on the, the tubing here, and then this plugs into the top of this like that. That's how it kind of seals. So basically, you'll see when I get it set up what I'm talking about, but let's go back to kind of where I was going with this. I'm gonna put this down here. Is that of course you have to drill this out so it fits into, this, into your cap, right? You get the picture, right? And of course the gas tank doesn't come with a flat or basically a blank cap. It comes with this little fitting here, or this little, I guess this is a little, sort of like a cap, sort of like a little plate or whatever. And I was thinking, you know, I was thinking I could, I could trim this off, I could trim this little tab off of here, and then drill this out and kind of plug it in like that and attach it. But I don't know if I even have enough room. Yeah, I wouldn't even have enough room with the, with this little nylon nut here so that wouldn't that wouldn't have worked so i had to come up with a um, better plan which seems pretty obvious i bought this blank cap here so this is going to go on like this and we'll drill that out and attach this so but there's a couple well there's a little thing i have to do here i don't want to lose my little stuff if you look inside here inside the tank you'll see there's like this um it's sort of like this, it's, it's basically a tube and it's got, it basically it's, it's like a filter almost. And I think mostly what that's for is just to help fuel from sloshing around. As you're filling this thing up, it'll help kind of, kind of like make the flow of the fuel into this nozzle a little more, I guess, smooth. So that's sort of in the way, right? Because it's not open on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pull this out of here. I don't know how easy that's gonna be. I thought one thing I could do is I can just poke a hole in it in the side in there and then just feed the tubing in, in kind of around it. But I'm gonna see if I can pull this out first and then we'll go from there. Okay, well I wanna be careful that I don't damage this thing. And I'm thinking maybe, I'm sure this just kind of pressed in there. Looks like it just probably snaps in somehow. 
but I carefully want to see if I can kind of pry this. Oh, yeah, this won't be too bad. This is pretty soft. I'm going to go ahead and round the outside of it a little bit, see if I can kind of get in between it and the can. Carefully, I don't want to see. I already kind of put a little bend in there. I need to be really careful here. I'll try my screwdriver. Oh, it's not too bad. Whoops. Don't want to do that. Almost lost it in there. Let's pull this out of here if I can. Hmm. Something's catching it. Now there's like a little, there's a little dude in there, like a little piece of plastic that's kind of sticking. I think all I need to do is like pry this down if I can. Yeah, it's got these little um, tabs in there. Hold on a second. I think I can... Okay, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. So this will now go on here nicely. It'll seal that. Okay. And now I'm going to drill a hole. I think it's half inch. Look at my old instructions there. Yep, half inch. So let me get my drill bits and I will drill a hole in there. Make sure that I'm on the camera. I'm just gonna estimate sort of in the middle. Like that. Try to hold this tightly. I want to kind of work my way up to a kind of a middle before I go for the half inch. And here we go. Now, when I'm drilling, I'm going to be really careful because it's easy for, like, especially when you have a big diameter drill bit like this, it's really easy for it to catch when it's cutting and then things kind of twist out of your hands. You know, small kind of small diameter drill bits are, are easier that way, but I really want to be careful. I want to hold this, kind of just easily drill without, I don't want to jam onto it and get it caught and have it twist and then cut my finger or something. So be real careful when you do this kind of stuff. Always got to be careful. Just want to make sure that this surface doesn't have any burrs or anything on it that could leak. I'm going to scrape this stuff in here just to make sure. Okay, it looks pretty good. And again, these are the CM concepts. These are kind of expensive. I don't I wish I didn't have to buy four of them, but I got four. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put our little fittings together. So this is going to go on here. Hopefully like that Then I have this little O-ring. Kind of wonder if that 
gasket's going to get in the way. We will find out here. Get on there. Kind of hard to get it down there because the cap is deep. All right, so that looks like it's in there all the way. Now I'll get this guy on here. That looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and carefully, don't need to over tighten it, but I'm just gonna give it a little snug turn. Okay, cool. Get this stuff out of the way. I love my little Black & Decker drill. This is perfect for this kind of stuff. All right, so here we go. This will go on here like this. And I guess, I don't know, maybe I'll turn this down. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get our tubing. So again, this is Dubro. This is three foot section, eighth inch inside diameter. I don't know if that's a little big. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. This will go on here. This is a little bit harder plastic or at least harder material than the silicone. The silicone is very um, soft. Okay, there it goes. Cool. And this is gonna be in here. I'm gonna estimate. I'll just put it somewhere like that. Kind of flop around in there. And it's got this little filter. Cool. So that's down in there like that. That'll work. Just do that to it. Okay, so here's our tank. Now here is the fitting that comes off of the Debro Easy Fill. And it's this little piece right here. And this is just basically the, this acts as two things. It actually plugs the hole right here which seals off the tank and then when you pull it off of here then that's what you go ahead and you plug in and I'll show you that in just a minute here this this plugs into the line which goes to the pump but anyhow so this is going to go on here like that and then I already cut some tubing as I mentioned and I'm just going to use a short one and it's always kind of hard to get this stuff on here Tygon is a lot stiffer than the um, than the uh, silicone All right, I don't think that's coming off. And this will go on this side. Like that. Okay, so again, this pops off of here. And then as you pump, you pull it through this, this kind of this little outlet right here. All right, so this goes back in here. Now let's grab our pump. This over there. So here's our pump. And then there's gonna be two lines coming off the pump. There's going to be the long line that goes to the airplane, which is going to be this one here, which I already cut. Put this on here. Really have to press it hard. Okay. And then on the other end of that, it's going to be our little fitting here, which goes in here. 
and it can be handy to kind of put maybe a little tie wrap or something right around here to kind of hold it on better but we'll leave it like that for now again this is going to go to the plane and then you have the piece that comes off of the pump which is going to plug into the tank line i think this is too long okay so this one is going to plug in to here i'm actually going to cut this i don't think i need it that long let me grab my cutters somewhere right about there okay so there's the setup so the way that this is going to work i'm going to pull this off of here this is going to be full of fuel obviously you plug it into your pump like that plug this into your plane over there and then just and then when you want to take the fuel out you go like this kind of simple and then when you get finished pull it off of here and plug it back in there and you're good to go all right so then last thing again is you just when you're finished you just plug this in here and that kind of seals everything off and then you're finished so i'm going to just i'm just going to for right now i'm just going to kind of hang this off of the my my the the gas can and store it like that and eventually i may mount this find figure out a way to sort of mount this onto the can or maybe i'll just mount it right onto a onto a um onto a field box kind of which like i did on this other one down here I'll bring it up again oops this is my glow setup as i showed you before and i have the pump kind of stuck right here same exact setup all right so the last thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and attach this the pump onto the can just using some tie wraps i'm not going to win too many awards for the way this looks but again this is just kind of this is just going to be a simple setup to get me going here i'm going to bring this through here like so i don't have a long enough tie wrap so i'm going to use two if i can there we go and let's see here Then I can kind of put this around like this or something and I'm good to go. Okay, so here's my gas fueling system. And as you saw, it was pretty simple to put together. Probably the most difficult thing is just buying the, buying the different pieces and making sure you have everything that you need. But once you have everything, it's a pretty simple process. And I was kind of looking at this. I think maybe I put this too tight on the handle here and it may be kind of get in the way. So I, I may go ahead and move it. I can hang it off this little, there's like a little hole over here right down here. I could probably hang this off or, or cut these tie wraps and make them a little bit longer. But for now, this is gonna, this will be, this will be fine. And you can, you know, you can find these already sort of made and online. They tend to probably be a little more expensive than if you bought the parts yourself and did it. But again, that's an option. So my next step in this sort of video series about running the DLE and learning about gas engines is I need to make a, a test stand for this. And I'm just gonna do that again, homemade. I have some wood and some, some things I'm gonna use to, to build a test stand. And then I'll go ahead and get this thing fired up and we'll, and we'll go from then, from, from there. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching my channel. I always appreciate everybody's comments and everybody who's subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.